Staying Safe in an Earthquake by Ashley Simpson Earthquakes are dangerous, natural events that can seriously injure people. If you follow some of the basic earthquake steps and protect yourself, you and your loved ones will stay safe when an earthquake occurs. Three steps to do when an earthquake occurs are to drop, cover, and hold on. First, you need to drop under something stable, like a table. It is really important to make sure that the object you are under is unlikely to fall or collapse on you. Then, you need to cover your head because it is the most important part of your body, and you want to protect yourself from getting in concussion. Finally, you have to hold on to the sturdy object with your other hand. These steps will keep you safe while trapped during an earthquake. After an earthquake stops shaking, you need to evacuate quickly but calmly. Make sure that everyone in your house after the earthquake is okay. If saving that loved one means you will be put at risk, call 911 and they will come and rescue anyone or any animal that can't get out. When trying to save a loved one that is stuck somewhere after an earthquake, you want them to be safe, but you also want to be safe. If trying to save someone in an earthquake puts you at risk, call the fire department and they will help that person. To protect yourself inside your house, you need a stable Many objects. Stabilize anything that is likely to fall and hurt you. Anything that can fall over during an earthquake needs to be attached so it cannot fall on you or hurt you. You also want to make sure that your water heaters are stable because they are very heavy and can cause severe injuries. Always make sure to have an earthquake safety kit because if you and other people are stuck in an earthquake, you need to be safe and have lots of food and water. Some main resources you will need in an earthquake safety kit is a flashlight, a gallon of water per person per day, food, first aid kits, games or entertainment, and a tent. It is very important to have these things prepared in case of a massive earthquake does occur and puts you in danger. A seismograph is a tool that is used when measuring how intense an earthquake is. There is a piece of paper and a pencil on the seismograph, and when the earthquake is bigger, the more zigzags there will be on the page. Whenever we read the news about an earthquake and its effect, rated on a scale from 1 to 9, they find that out using a seismograph. Seismologists are scientists that use seismographs and study earthquakes. Earthquakes can occur all around the world, and some more earthquakes in certain areas than in others. There are mainly more earthquakes in California than in other states. Although California has many earthquakes, it does have many small earthquakes that don't cause as much damage as the other states' earthquakes do. In northwestern part of the U.S., the earthquakes cause a lot of damage, even if there's not as many earthquakes as California. When building a house, you need to make sure that it's standing on something flat, not unsteady, because you don't want your house to fall down that soil or mountain. You should also have a readiness plan so when an earthquake occurs, you will know where to go and what to do. The steps to making your house sturdy and ready for an earthquake are to make sure that your house is on a flat surface, the building is bolted on the thick soil, and have gas pipes that can easily be bent. Your house needs to be on a flat surface because if it is on an uneven one, the house is likely to slide down. The building should be bolted down because even if your house is on a flat surface, it is still likely to slide or move during an earthquake. Your house will be stable on the ground and probably will not tip over. You should also have bendy pipes because if something falls on them, you don't want your pipes to break or burst because the fumes can be bad to breathe in. After an earthquake occurs, it may not be over. There still can be an aftermaths that occur unexpectedly. You should still keep watch after an earthquake because many roads might be destroyed and buildings might have tipped over. Earthquake rescue dogs are very helpful when people are in danger. Those dogs have great senses of smell, so they sniff around and try to find the people who are stuck. 
Earthquakes can be very unsafe, but if you listen to these steps and do them correctly, you should have a very small chance of getting hurt during one. The credits are websites, classroom discussions, labs, science books, and pictures.